another day in Seoul, in North South Korea. Yeah. <laughs> so today, for our yeah. trip, we are going to DMC, Demilitarized Zone. And it's only up to gate that we're allowed to take pictures or videos, so we cannot show you the exact place itself because of very strict rules with um, pictures. So I'm just gonna show you yeah. now. Our tour guide is um, our tour guide took our passport, so he yeah. can show it at the checkpoint, <laughs> so we can get a tickets to go to the to the oh, DMC. Yeah. So I'll try to we try to show you what we can show you, but we have to follow the rules. Okay, yeah. so see you soon. Inside, you cannot buy anything. There's no food. Come, Samita. And then we need to go back to our bus at 10:50. Ang dami po sa labas. Super cold. But thank God for a sunny weather. For us. Even my husband, it's better to go around, walking around when it's winter because you don't feel tired because of the heat. It's better to walk when it's cold but not windy. Today is a bit windy. Another thing that I have noticed, according, this is just my opinion, Koreans have good coffee. <laughs> So far, we've been getting good copies. <laughs> and dito parin po kami sa waiting area ng um, DMZ, going to the main part. So meron po kami nakilala mga uh, kalokang Pilipina. Kahit talaga saan, pag may Pilipina, masaya. <laughs> pag may Pilipino. Ito po sila. Kita ba kayo? Hi! 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 Si, si Jen and si Richelle. Yung isa taga Las Piñas at saka taga Batangas. And Ate Emmy from San Francisco. Ayan, magkakasama namin sa tour today. Para masayaw pag may Pilipino. I'm so happy. Nakamit kami ng Pilipino. And si Ate Emmy kasama pa namin siya sa hotel. Same hotel as us. Hi guys. Just checking in. So here we can see the North Korea site. That's the North Korea site. And our tour guide said, "Pag wala daw pong masyadong puno, yun daw ang site ng North Korea. Kasi ginagamit nila yung kanilang mga puno para sa kanilang um, for wood." Dahil kailangan nila for for heating. But in the South Korea side, it's very lush, so much green. That's the one. That's the South Korea side. There's so much history here. We hope that one day they will be unified once again. 
there will be one country. I don't know if you can see, but there's two flag poles over there. One in the with the blue um, pole is the North Korea, and then the other one is with South South Korea. And there was a time though that they were competing, competing. competing. flag pole. They're competing with each other who will have the highest. So when the North Korea, South Korea, pinataas nila, um, North Koreans did it as well. Pinataas din nila yung yung um, pole nila. And eventually, there was a time that North Korea has the highest flag pole in the world. But then, yeah, they they just stopped. But South Korea just stopped competing with the North Korean. Parang hindi yuwi hinto sa pagtaas ng pagtaas. So yeah, I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can see the two flags there. So this South Korean side and the North Korean side. gonna go and find a place to eat. It's still compulsory to wear masks here in public um, transportations like train buses so people always have masks here. It's freezing! Hi guys, twice na kami nag-train. Ba't galit ka? Nakabalik kami sa mga pagkuntaan namin, pinanggalingan namin. So I think we're experts already. No, I don't think so. Pero itong biyaheng ito, hindi under pressure. The first time, under pressure kami dahil we need to go to the place that we need to go as quick as we can. But we've done it. This is the second time. We're a bit more relaxed. We're not rushing. Nihingal nga lang. We're catching our breath. We're gonna go now and find a place to eat and have an authentic Korean barbecue. For today's dinner, we're having the Korean barbecue. This is just um, it's right. This restaurant is right next to our hotel.
Hey guys, we're so full and tired after dinner that I didn't record an outro. But thank you so much for watching if you got this far. I hope you like this vlog as it's the second last one in our South Korea trip. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment as it will help the channel grow toward our goal of 200 subscribers by the end of this year. God bless and see you next time!